Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There are several tools available to format the handwritten notes and drawings you create in OneNote. To format your objects, you must first select them. Click the Type button that appears in the Tools button group on the Draw tab of the ribbon to switch to that mode. As you move your mouse, it will look like an eye beam. To select an object, click anywhere on the edge of the note or drawing until you see a dotted line appear around the object. The interior of the object will be shaded gray and resizing handles will appear around the edge of the object. Unlike other Microsoft applications, you cannot hold down the control key on your keyboard to click and select multiple objects. You can select multiple objects by clicking and dragging a rectangular selection area. As objects are selected in the area you create by dragging, they too will become shaded gray. You can also click the Lasso Select tool that appears within the Tools button group on the Draw tab of the ribbon to click and drag an irregular selection. In both cases, you must encompass the entire object in order for it to be selected. This type of selection can be useful when selecting handwritten notes. Each stroke that you make with the pen tool becomes a unique object. So for example, if you wanted to change an entire signature, you could click and drag or use the Lasso Select tool to select each of the strokes within the signature to make your change. To move an object, hover over it until the cursor turns into a four-pointed arrow. Click, drag, and release where you want to move the object. To resize the object, hover over any of the resizing handles until the cursor turns into a double-pointed arrow. Click, drag, and release on that handle to change the object's size. Once an object is selected, you can use the various commands to further format the object. For example, you can click the Pen Properties button that appears in the Mini Toolbar that appears once you make a selection to launch the Color and Thickness dialog box. Here you can switch between the Pen and Highlighter modes, choose a line thickness, and change the color of the object by clicking to make a selection and then clicking the OK button. Use any of the other available tools in the ribbon to do things like delete the object, rotate or flip the object, or change the arrangement of the objects in the notebook page. Much like Microsoft PowerPoint slides, the pages within OneNote contain objects that can overlap one another and create stacks of objects. To change the order of a selected object in a stack, simply click the Arrange drop-down button that appears in the Edit button group of the Draw tab of the ribbon to change the placement of the selected object on the page. You can choose either Bring Forward, Bring to Front, Send Backward, or Send to Back commands from this button's drop-down menu to change the order in which the objects overlap one another within the stack. Inevitably, you will find times when you wish to erase all or parts of a drawing or a written note. If you click the Eraser button that appears within the Tools button group on the Draw tab of the ribbon, you will see four options. The first three are erasers of different sizes, Small Eraser, Medium Eraser, or Large Eraser. You can choose whichever size you wish to perform your specific task. Then click and drag over the note or drawing to erase the area in the square that represents the eraser you chose. Clicking the Eraser drop-down also presents you with a fourth option, Stroke Eraser. When selected, you can erase an entire stroke of a pen on your page with one click. Once selected, you can hover over a note or drawing and single-click on a line to erase the entire stroke or drag across the edges of several different strokes to instantly erase them all. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.